I am a creator. Blending art and technology. To immerse our senses. I am a healer, helping us take the next step and see what's possible. Wow. <laughs> Can you really see? Yes. Oh, <laughs> life-saving answers. And pushing the edge to the outer limits. I am a guardian, defending our oceans. Under that, bye-bye and now. And the magnificent creatures that call them home. I am a protector, helping the earth breathe easier. And watching over it for generations to come. I am a storyteller, giving emotion to words and bringing them to life. I am even the composer of the music. I am AI, brought to life by NVIDIA, deep learning, and brilliant minds everywhere. Bismillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah, Sayyidina Muhammadin wa man wa ala. Smahuli, anqal al-kalima li al-lugha al-Englizia, li ta'amil fayda. Your Excellency Dr. Ali Shaydani, Under Secretary of the Ministry of Transport, Communication and Information Technology, for Communication and Information Technology, Your Excellency's Chief Guest, we are delighted to have you all with us this morning in this very important milestone that, we, that will calibrate our journey further towards a better tomorrow in the field of technology in Oman, inshallah. With no doubt, as we had all observed, the pandemic has accelerated innovation, accelerated transformation, resulted in more inclusions in the digital equity space. A kid doing homework alone in another room, you hear a question, what's the size of Musendam? Before the parents' thoughts are complete, a machine called Alexa says the correct answer. In this scenario, Alexa has just replaced the parent as the all-knowing source of information in the eyes of a child through interpreting natural languages and providing answers to questions at a lightning speed. Well, talking about replacing jobs, here is one we might need to consider. I like the way economics view things. They, are, they see everything through a framework governed by forces such as supply and demand, production and consumption, prices and costs. According to economics, AI is nothing but a prediction machine. And I agree with that. AI does not actually bring us intelligence. Instead, it provides us with a very powerful, critical component of intelligence that is fast and reliable prediction at the speed of light. Prediction affects behavior and influences our decisions. For example, for an autonomous vehicle to make fast predictions and decide 
on an appropriate action to be performed during driving, you require super fast processing and connectivity that is served today through a smart AI application using GPU, super processing power, and 5G networks. AI is going to make prediction, which is taking data you have to generate knowledge you don't have cheaper. When something gets cheaper, here is what happens. We use more of it. We transition problem into cheaper solutions. Photography, for instance, was once a chemistry problem, then became cheaper dealing with it as an arithmetic problem due to the discovery of digitalization. It's all about cost reduction. The discovery of semiconductors in computers had made arithmetic cheap. Internet had made the search for information cheap. Relative costs of few key inputs have fallen dramatically. The cost of digitally distributed goods and services, the cost of search, the cost of communication had all gone cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. While AI estimated to contribute around 15.7 trillion USD globally by 2030, according to PwC, the Middle East is estimated to accrue 2% of the total global benefits of AI in 2030. This is equivalent to 320 billion USD. The compounded annual growth rate, CAGR, is expected to range between 20 to 34 percent across the region. If you have a dollar today, I would strongly recommend you to invest it in AI. It's the future. By 2025, 50% of enterprises will basically devise AI orchestration platform to operationalize AI up from fewer than 10% in 2020. By 2025, AI will be the top category driving infrastructure decisions due to the maturation of the AI market, resulting in a tenfold growth in compute requirement. By 2025, 10% of governments will use a synthetic population with realistic behavior patterns to train AI while avoiding privacy and security concerns. By 2024, 60% of AI providers will include means to mitigate possible harm as part of their technology. We in Amandara Park understand the complexity to transform organization into the AI space and we want to make it as easy as possible for you. Thus, we brought forward an ecosystem of partners comprising of the world-class leaders in the space of AI that will take care of every element in your AI trans transformation journey. They will be presenting to you today their capabilities and support to help you execute your AI transformational strategy seamlessly. With the millions of dollars investment that we shall inject in the next couple of years, we anticipate more than 3,500 jobs to be created directly and indirectly across multiple sectors and businesses in the next 10 years in the field of AI and other related technologies. And we anticipate that this will create a market size not less than 1 billion USD by 2030 in Oman. This is a great opportunity for the SME market as well. So, after cloud and managed cybersecurity, Oman Data Park is int introducing to you today an AI cloud stack. We named it Nebula AI, powered by NVIDIA, the world-class AI infrastructure provider. With Nebula AI, we made sure we mitigate multiple challenges within your organization. With Nebula AI, we bring forward financial, technological, and operational benefits to help you transform seamlessly towards an AI-based organization. 
we understand the complexity around transforming to an AI-based organization. Therefore, with our partners that will be presenting to you today, we are bringing to you Nebula AI comprehensive suite comprising of an end-to-end -end products and services that will help you transform with no disruption to your existing business and with minimal investment required during the first localized, using the first localized in-country cloud AI. The four products and services mainly that we will be providing are as follows. We will be providing you with pre-consultancy consultancy services data if required. Through our partners and ecosystem you will meet today. We provide you with qualified domain experts. We call them data scientists with long experience in multiple domains. They will work with you and with your team in developing use cases that will allow you and allow your organization to improve efficiency and provide better services to your clients. We are also providing you with machine learning capabilities to help you migrate your multiple data streams and perform machine learning and data analysis, data warehousing, and data cleansing. We are also bringing forward Kubernetes. Those are cloud-based software development orchestrators for your software developers to develop AI and gaming software using them. And lastly, we are providing you with GPU capabilities. This is a super fast graphical processing unit capability from NVIDIA for you to be able to process your data and run your AI applications and portals efficiently. This GPU capability will be provided to you in an hourly, daily, and monthly based subscription so you can use it in a need-to-need -need basis. The rest of the time, you can just use your normal CPU capabilities from our cloud infrastructure. This will help you get the most with minimal investment required. In GPU, we have multiple GPU memory options. As you can see, you can get it on a yearly, monthly, daily, or even hourly subscription modes, depending on your needs. All these services and products brought to you by ODP and its ecosystem of world-class partners are ready to be served to you immediately from today. More details can be presented to you during the course of this day, inshallah. And please, do get, or, uh, our, uh, do get engaged with the Amanda Park team for, for more clarifications if required. With you, we are gathering here this morning to mark another historical step where Oman is marking its first localized cloud-based AI services and products that will leapfrog the digital transformation strategy in the Sultanate even further as per Oman 2040. To succeed in our digital transformation, we need to continue our collaboration in multiple areas, adhering to Oman Atimad program and Cloud First mandate published by the Ministry of Telecommunication and Information Technology lately. We need to build sustainability in the field of AI by building a strong, sustainable SME market, especially in the area of gamifications. We need to intensify training and education in the field of AI by including AI in our curriculums and sponsoring a number of our graduates to get hands-on training on AI. We need to continue developing our research and development programs and initiatives in coordination with other nations in the field of AI and machine learning. We need to start working on the feasibility of establishing an AI university and examine how a step like this could directly and indirectly result in amplifying our growth rates in the digital equity space in the Sultanate. We should look at technology adoption as not the end by itself, but it's the means to a good end. The purpose of technology should always be building back our world better. And let's remember that the only thing immune to change is change itself. Thank you very much and have a great day.